Good morning, it's Sunday today and we're doing an appetizer party. That's what we're prepping up for. And I'm gonna make a truly stunning looking fruit tray out of these simple ingredients here in front of me. I've got some strawberries, mini seedless watermelon, cantaloupe, grapes, pineapple, and a bag of oranges. And from this, I'm gonna put those on this tray. I'm gonna make for you a truly stunning looking fruit tray. Right, but it all starts out with preparation and trimming up our vegetables, or I mean our fruit. Bah. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the pineapple. And I'm gonna show you how I trim up a pineapple. Okay, so we're gonna cut the pineapple in half. Turn it around so you can go through both ends. I start in the middle of the fruit part. We have a half pineapple. It's like a boning knife, or you can use a paring knife. Cut along this way, and then on an angle, I'm going to come across here. And you're going to get one of these. Set it down. Take the two pieces together, cut them a few times, put them back in the pineapple. We'll do the same thing with the second half. Cut it along this core. Both sides. Okay, now we have both pieces of pineapple like this. We're gonna grab some grapes and some toothpicks. And when you do a fruit tray like this, the difference between this and say one of those trays that you buy at the grocery store where you get the, uh, everything comes in a plastic container and you get all kinds of little pineapple cubes, is that what do you expect your guests to do? Do you want them to start stabbing on stuff with forks? Do you want them to start using their bare hands? This way, when one of my guests wants a piece of pineapple, all they have to do is pick up the toothpick and they get a little grape with it too. Now you don't have to use grape. You can use nothing if you want. You could use raspberries. You could use uh, blueberries. You could use different colored grapes or you could alternate across all of them. But for today's menu, um, we're just gonna go with just straight grapes. So for the cantaloupe, we're gonna do a similar process as the pineapple. Cut the candle open half, remove the sticker, use a spoon, scrape out the seeds. And we're gonna make little cantaloupe canoes. So we're gonna start cutting the cantaloupe in half. We're gonna take the half and cut it in half, and now we have quarters. And on this one, I'm gonna go to 16s. But if they're smaller, you might get um, 
three instead of four, or two instead of three. Really all depends how big your cantaloupe is. Okay, so now I've got my first half of cantaloupe cut into eight. Take a smaller knife. Be careful not to let it catch into the soft flesh too quickly, and then you're gonna run it right out and catch your fingers. But now that we've taken it off of the skin, we're cutting into about four pieces here, we're gonna put it back on the skin. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some grapes, and again, you can use blueberries, blackberries, uh, ra raspberries, different colored grapes. You can mix it up and alternate. But the idea is that we're going to take the toothpick and go through the cantaloupe and into the skin to give this some stability so they don't just fall off. And now when we put this on our fruit tray, right, your guests only have to pick up the toothpick and they're going to get themselves a, two pieces of fruit on a little toothpick here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these, and when I get done the cantaloupe, I'm going to show you how I put this on the tray with the pineapple, and then we'll move on to some more fruit after that. Okay, so we got our pineapple. We're just going to sit it on the tray. This is how it looks. We're going to take our cantaloupe canoes, boats, canoes, whatever you want to call them. And all we have to do is put them here. So grapes would be good if you were having like maybe a wine party, right? You could put uh, all kinds of grapes on these like I did today. Uh, but you don't have to use grapes, like I said. There's all kinds of different little berries that work on here. The only thing I don't like putting on here really is strawberry. And that's because you, you have to trim them up pretty small for them to fit right. If you want to go super complicated, one of the other options you could do is, uh, one of my favorite things, is a cantal, is a raspberry with a blueberry stuffed inside of it, and then you put those on there. Nobody expects that little bit of blueberry when they bite into their raspberry. So now that we've got this, I'm gonna cut up some watermelon and I'll show you that. And we're gonna put the watermelon in here, some oranges, uh, strawberries, and a few more grapes. So we'll get back to some more veg cutting, or I mean fruit cutting. I keep calling it vegetables, but it's not, it's fruit. I'm just a dumbass. Okay, so for the watermelon, and you wanna make sure you get a nice ripe one. So I think you're supposed to knock it, or knock it, or bounce it, or I, I don't know, I think, I think this one's fine. So we're just gonna cut the ends off, kind of square it up a bit, and there's not really a whole lot of watermelon in these ends anyways. Put it on its side, cut it in half, and for some reason, I don't know why, but people are more willing to eat a watermelon that has just been cut into little triangles and deal with the skin than they are with a cantaloupe. For some reason, if you just cut the cantaloupe up and leave it on the tray, nobody touches it. But if you put the watermelon on the tray like this, it disappears. I don't know, maybe it's because we live in Canada and watermelon's a luxury. Who knows? Well, you think cantaloupe would be too. So we're just gonna quarter this. Slice it up and then arrange it lovingly on our tray. So one of the reasons that I like to make the fruit trays around here at the restaurant is when I first started here, the owners, they own a second restaurant and when we used to do a lot of caterings, they would bring one of the guys in from there, he would go down to the basement kitchen He'd hide out there for three or four hours and he'd make the fruit, vegetable, and cheese trays. And then he'd go back to work at the other place. 
I'd come in and in those same three to four hours do all the bitch work. So I figured if I learned how to do good fruit, veggie, and cheese trays, I could get out of it. And certainly it paid off. That's what happened. Okay, so back to our fruit tray with the watermelon we just sliced up. So if you just take your quarter of a watermelon and sit it there and give it a push, it'll fall right where you want. So we're going to arrange this with them back to back, and we'll use both of them. So half on each side, give it a bit of a curve. Okay, so that is what we're gonna do with this. Take the shot from up top now, you can see it coming together. And then we're gonna cut up the oranges and the strawberries and then we're gonna put we're gonna finish her up with some more grapes. Okay, so I got my navel oranges. Now, does anybody know why they're called navel oranges? I don't really have a firm guess, but I'm just gonna guess because you get scurvy from not eating your vitamin C, so the Navy always had to have these. That's why I'm gonna say they're navel oranges. Either that or they were grown in somebody's belly button. So, on these four oranges, and four is really all I need to finish off that tray, I'm just gonna cut off the tops and the bottoms, just like the watermelon. Okay, and remember, when you're using a knife, Hold it by the blade. I'm gonna cut them in half, a little quarter, the halves, so we're gonna get about eight slices per orange. And again, it's just like the watermelon. People are willing to eat the orange the way it is and put the skin on a little side plate. But for some reason, they're not really willing to do that with the cantaloupe. Maybe it's the size though of the slices, because the watermelon slices are pretty small. The orange slices are pretty small. But even if I cut those slices of watermelon in half, they are, I mean of cantaloupe in half, they are still pretty big. Maybe it's a size thing. There you go, bigger isn't always better. Tell that to my college girlfriend. As you can see, I have quite a bit of orange slices here. And now we're going to put them on the tray. Okay, so now we have our tray and we're ready to start throwing oranges on. And that's just what we're going to do. We're going to start throwing oranges on. Start hiding the gaps from our, from our large fruit. with these oranges. Now another fruit that's good for this is kiwi. I didn't buy kiwi this morning because the kiwis at the store sucked. Remember, this is February and I'm in Canada. So I like to just throw them on because I feel it gives me more of a natural look. So our next step is going to be the strawberries. Okay, so now we've got our washed strawberries, and what we're going to do with them, we're going to cut the tops off, we're going to half them, and we're just going to toss them wherever we feel like. This open area up here, I think we're going to fill it with grapes, and we're going to call it a tray. A day? A day a tray? We'll call it a day for our tray. So. This is the boring part of the video where I just chop up strawberries. You listen to me trying to be funny. Nobody really enjoys it.
maybe if I can figure out how to properly edit videos, I can time lapse this part. Who knows? You won't even have to hear me then. But this is a good time for me to reach out directly to you, my viewer. If there's anything that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comment section. If you're liking these videos, please hit like. And if you like my channel, please hit subscribe. All of those things definitely help me out. And remember, I have a second YouTube channel. My main channel is James the Man's Man, where we cover all things manly. We do tool reviews, garage quick tips, and the occasional project video. Oh, I just dropped a strawberry on the floor. So, I've been throwing too many in the center. We'll move some in between, in between the cantaloupes. You had some fresh mint. You could sprinkle that around too. Okay. And now to finish her off, just get some grapes. Put them right in the middle. Out of the front here. There we go. And this is a fruit tray made for 50 people. Bum, bum, bum. I hope you all enjoy it and have yourself a good culinary week.